Prisons are not usually high on people's list of places to visit. Often, there are places to avoid. But for musician Eric Jenis, prisons are exactly where he makes most of his concerts. If you ever want to cry, we can talk about stories of their lives on death row and their lives previous to being incarcerated. And, and I thought, there's a whole population of people that I have not given a second thought to. And I thought, this is my Carnegie Hall. Jenna says once he realized the true impact music can have on people's lives, he was determined to bring it to those whose society has forgotten or deemed unworthy. I'm not one of these guys that goes into prisons because I want to entertain them. I want to remind them of their humanity in a way beauty can do. But when you expose someone to beauty, it bypasses the brain and it cuts right through all the pain. It cuts right to the soul. It goes, it cuts through all the history, all the, the neglect. It cuts through all the betrayal, all the hurt, all the walls. He has played more than 1,000 shows in prisons through his initiative called Concerts for Hope. Many of the prisoners have shared how the concerts have changed them. There's one that left a big impact on Jenis. One man was on the verge of committing suicide because he'd lost all hope. And, and so he said, my cellmate said, come and see this concert. He said, I don't want to hear some guy sing Jingle Bells. And he said, I don't think this guy's going to sing Jingle Bells, you know. <laughs> so, so he came to the concert and, um, and he said, you gave me so much hope. He said, I just hung on to that concert for the, for the, next, for the rest of my sentence. I'm out. You'll never hear from me again. I will do well. And, um, and I just wanted to thank you. Since 2016, Jenis has been playing these concerts for hope around the United States. And he will continue this life mission of helping the imprisoned and marginalized see their dignity and the beauty of life through music.